Are you the one who dealt with the spider in the city? Ernst? That's right. Hey! She would have been killed if the hell spiders got in. So I broke her out. I see. You mean you protected her for us. Actually, Garland, I'd like to discuss her situation with you. Hmm? What is it? I believe Hedge brought her here to become my servant. Have you taken a liking to her? It's not like that. She's my ally. Garland, if you'll permit me to treat with you on her behalf, man to man. Huh. Well, if you put it that way, you have my full attention. The way of the desert does not let us neglect our guests. If you say she is your ally, then she is also my guest. Thank you, Garland. But to be honest, she's... Oh? Hedge? <laughs> Ahem. What? You mean she's the Princess Erica of Granor? <laughs> Ahem. <sighs> Sorry to burst your bubble, but we'll never hand over Erica. What was that? Shut up, Hedge! Didn't I warn you about dragging the way of the desert through the mud? Ernst has earned my approval. If she is his ally, then she is considered my ally as well. But... Your methods may work well in Granville. But, you have no right to make a fool out of sickness. I've grown truly disgusted with you. Be gone from my sight. I never want to see your face here again. Huh? Oh, my words weren't clear enough? <laughs> Ernst, you've really impressed me. I like you. And thank you for taking down that hell spider in my stead. I think I've come to a decision. To hell with entertaining Diaz! Huh? If you're with Princess Erica, then you've chosen a side. And I'd rather side with you than Diaz. We were going to meet with Diaz to discuss the political obstacles. But he's always looked down on us mercenaries. Like he's so high and mighty. I hate him, although I suppose it's more than that. I don't like Granorg's entire regime. But you being here, Princess Erica, that changes things. We can choose a path that doesn't lead to kissing Granorg's pompous ass. And what is that path? <laughs> the one where we join you and make Granorg rethink its values. What do you say, Princess Erica? I, too, fight against the regime as a member of the Resistance. I welcome your support. As we have similar interests, I think it would be to our benefit to fight side by side. All right. <laughs> Sounds like we have an alliance. Do you approve of this, Stock? Yeah. Ah, so your real name is Stock. Well then, Stock, I say we pull this off together. I'm with you, Garland. Okay. Things are about to get interesting. Tonight, we feast to celebrate new friendships!
You've returned, Stuck. I'm relieved that you've succeeded in protecting her, but danger still lurks in her shadow. A new conflict that concerns her is approaching. Please be careful. Let us now add a new chapter to the White Chronicle. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? Yeah. Did you need me? Mm-hmm. All right. I'll be along to see him shortly. I'm glad the city was saved. You said this place was important to you somehow? I lived here a long time ago. Back before I met Mark. <clears throat> you know how there's tons of mercenaries here? Most of them are drifters from cities that are dead now. Dead cities? Ones that got dragged into fights between Alistel and Granorg. The war raged on an awful long time, with nobody giving a second thought to the civilians there. Most of the people who lost their homes drifted into Cygnus, since it was neutral ground. <laughs> You're looking at one of them. My mom and dad died protecting me during a battle. I drifted all over the place with the rest of the adults afterward. <sighs> and wherever we went, I got treated like a big burden. But not here. The people of Sickness accepted me right away. Because they'd all gone through similar ordeals. Probably so. Everyone had each other's back. It sounds bad when you call it a city of drifters. But I think a lot of people, when they got here, felt safe for the first time. It's like a second chance at a homeland for them. Long story short, I was really happy when you said you'd protect this city. Thanks, Stock. Not like me to get all touchy-feely. You don't do so well with thank yous, do you? You don't seem like the type who would. Okay, enough about the past. We gotta hurry and go see King Garland. Protecting something, huh? What are you doing here? <laughs> huh? Hey! Um... If it's for Cygnus, then I'll help you. Okay! you think that much of Garland. Well, do you have any ideas about who the spy is? <sighs> I see. Nimmel? 
Huh? I was going to ask you the same thing. I thought you were working in a restaurant in Alistel. It, yeah. I'm very surprised to see you here. I, I can't believe it. I mean, I'm only here by coincidence, too. It, yeah. Hey! Here you go. Oh. What's your connection to Mimmel? Mimmel used to be a mercenary. She was heavily wounded in battle and can't fight now. When Heist found me and I had to move to Alistal, I asked her to come with me. I wanted Heist to pull some strings, but you can't get an SI job if you can't fight. That's how she ended up working in a restaurant. What's she doing here in Cygnus? I don't know. Stop. what's on your mind? I was thinking about that spy Ricky was talking about. Stock! That's not fair! You don't have any proof she's a spy. Mimmel. Yes. Who was here before us? Tell me. going to ask you the same thing. I thought you were working in a restaurant in Alistel. It, yeah. And by a lot happened, you mean you were recruited as a spy. Huh? Stock, what's gotten into you? I'm sorry, Marco, but I have proof. Take a look at this letter. A, a letter? <gasps> it's addressed to Mimmel. And it describes the plan to use the Hell Spider. Mimmel, what's this about? I'll tell you. It means she's working against Cygnus. Uh, say it isn't true, Mimmel. No answer, huh? Well, your silence is loud enough. You're under arrest. Please let
let her go. You know what happens to captured spies. Her cover's already been blown. How much more damage could she do now that we know about her? Please, Stock, I'm begging you. Show mercy on her. I'm sorry, Marco. I just can't ignore this. If I let her go, her master will just send another spy to replace her. Easy as that. Uh, but... but... no. Memo. We have to go. We need to end this war. Marco, why? I trusted you. How oh, I've waited for this moment. I've dedicated myself entirely to one thing. Taking you out. But why? I'm sure you remember Mimmel, the spy in sickness. You turned her in after all. I heard she went through hell. Her suffering was so bad she took her own life to escape it. You know that's what they do to spies who get caught. And you turned her in anyway. Marco, don't do this. Welcome back, Stock. That was a little too close. Your decision was correct, with the safety of Cygnus as the only criteria. But there were those who could never agree with your choice. If you chose badly, you can easily change that decision in order to rectify history. We are relying on you, Stock. Just in case, do you want to record your actions up till now? I can't knowingly let you continue spying on Cygnus. I'm going to have to tell Garland about you. Stock, no! But I don't plan on selling your friend out either, Marco. Tell me who you're working for, and I'll let you go. <sighs> Thank you, Stock. <sighs> No. No. Marco. The sand plague. I can't believe it. Stock had just given you a second chance. I know we're trapped by our fates, but this... This is too much. All right, Memo. I know what I have to do. I'll stop the desertification at any cost. I won't let you die in vain. I won't cry. Not until your death has been avenged. Marco. I'm all right. I won't cry. For now, we have to report this to Ricky.
about the spy you were talking about. <gasps> yes, and... What are you guys doing here? Jeez. You told Stark about that? I was keeping quiet, so he wouldn't think he had to do it. Did you find him? Her. He was a worker at the bar named Mimmel. She turned into sand. The sand plague. I don't know who hired her, but she had superiors. There was a letter with orders on it. Hmm, I see. All right. I'll have the bar owner keep an eye on his employees. Thanks for your help. Oh, yeah. Take this as thanks for what you've done. Thanks. I'll be sure to put it to good use. And Ricky, I owe you my gratitude as well. Thank you. So, what was it you wanted to see me about? Uh, it's about Diaz. Didn't you cancel your audience with him? No. I decided to meet with him after all. What's going on here? Don't be so defensive, Stock. Hear me out first. I am going to see him, but that doesn't mean he'll get a warm welcome. It sounds like you have a plan. He got nowhere trying to crush the resistance before. Which means he's headed this way because he's desperate. If so, I have a pretty good idea what tack he'll take. He'll claim to want to parlay, but he'll come in force. I'm sure he'll bring his best units in the guise of bodyguards and rob Cygnus blind. People that dangerous mustn't be allowed into the city. First you say you'll meet with him, and now you won't let him in the city. Which is it? Oh, I'm meeting with him. But I'm going to do it in the northern Atolia wasteland. It's a long way off. Are you trying to shield Cygnus from any danger? Partly that. Partly because Erika is here. It wouldn't be wise to let any Granergites too near. But... Partly, it's something else, too. The whirlwinds of the northern Atolia wasteland. Whirlwinds? The spot I chose sees a lot of them, and one will be kicking up there before long. I'm surprised you know this. Without getting into specifics, since it's a handy thing to have in a pinch, there are signs. But back on the subject, we're going to take advantage of the whirlwinds to strike at Diaz. Well... I understand the plan now, but why did you call for me? I want you to protect Cygnus while I'm away. After that business with the Hell Spider, the people trust you. You have what it takes. Won't you do it? Before I answer, I want to know something. You're determined now to take down Diaz, so why did you initially plan on welcoming him as a guest? Ah, I see. You're wondering if I have a hidden agenda. Fair enough. The answer's simple. I was playing politics. If we had a little support, a lot of things would become easier for us. Even if it meant getting that support from Granol. Does that make sense? Yes. Now it's your turn to answer a question of mine. Will you do as I ask, and protect this city? We'll protect the city. Ah, good. That's what I'd hoped to hear from you. Now that that's been decided, I need to hurry and prepare myself to go out.
Looks like the reign of arrows has stopped. Damn it. I didn't expect them to bring along ballistas. No. We can't do that. If the ballistas have stopped, the enemy is on their way to finish us off. If we retreat now, not only will Cygnus become a battleground, it means they'll move their force out of the path of the whirlwinds. This, this nothing. The whirlwind should kick in after only a moment. We need to hold out until then. Stock. Let me say, I don't think you've made the wrong choice. I believe I might have done the same thing were I faced with that decision. But as a result, Garland died in battle. His importance in Cygnus cannot be underestimated. You'll have to find another way. I'm sure you can do it. Stock, don't give up. Just in case, do you want to record your action? I'm sorry, but we can't. What? Not even for me? Let me explain. It's in Cygnus' best interest that its king isn't exposed to danger. You should wait in Cygnus for as long as possible. We'll go on ahead to the meeting spot. What? You're willing to step into danger yourself? I guess that's just how I am. Stock! I like you more and more. All right then, prepare yourself to head out. This tardiness is inexcusable. What is keeping them? A cursed Garland. First, he demands a new meeting ground at the 11th hour. And now he expects a guest to tarry in this desolate place. He styles himself a king. But he's not more than an ex-mercenary who's forgotten his manners. <laughs> And you are... Ahem! Hmm. And what business have you with me? <laughs> hmm. Well then... <laughs> That's quite an entertaining fable you've laid out. Not at all. <laughs> Out with it then. Not at all. Very well. Will this suffice? Ahem. <laughs> if you insist. Now then. What is this priceless information? Ahem. <laughs> Did you say Eric? <laughs> I had presumed the princess's transgressions to be a silly little game of hers, but... Well, then... It would be folly to take the princess to a battlefield. They'd leave her in sickness. Aha! He chose this particular location for the conference out of concern for Princess Erica. Hmm. I would lay coin he will not. Very well. I shall direct my men to keep watch over Cygnus and be ready for any treachery. Hmm. Well then. Ah. But of course. You there. Give this man his reward. <laughs> Don't mention. <laughs> 
Should I ever be coronated, there will be only one class of peasant I won't abide. Do you know which? <laughs> Gutter rats like you! <laughs> Deploy soldiers to Cygnus. Put them on the watch for any movement by Garland. Once we have disposed of him, Cygnus will surely fall. Archers! Ready the usual. We'll demonstrate to these desert folk the terrible might of the Diaz Knights. Hey! What's the matter, Ricky? You're awfully timid today. Uh... Every terrain. Whether plains, deserts, or wilderness, has a tactic suited to it. Sure, we'll be outnumbered, but we'll have the geographical advantage. What? There's more we can count on. A whirlwind's coming soon, and it will pass directly over the meeting spot. So, nature itself is on our side. There are many ways to fight a battle against men, but nothing can hope to win a battle with nature. That's right. Though, we're still up against Granorg's soldiers. It won't be an easy fight, but it must be fought regardless. So enough belly aching. You'd better get ready. Yeah. Our main force will be staying in Cygnus until the last minute to catch the enemy off guard. Stock, your men will pressure their forces so they don't stray from the meeting spot. All right. We'll lower their numbers as much as we can until your main force arrives. Erica, you'll wait here. What? I will do no such thing! We're up against Dios. It's too dangerous for you to go near him. I appreciate the concern, but I don't believe I'm so weak. <sighs> and if I beat Dios and his men, it will be a show of strength for the Resistance. I'd say it's a necessary step to dethrone my stepmother and take back my country. She's got you beat, Stock. If you force her to stay and she ends up following us anyway, that'll be even worse for us. Best that she's somewhere we can keep an eye on her. Then I guess it's settled, but I will expect you to obey orders in the field. Of course. Thank you. Is everything ready, then? I'm entrusting Princess Erica to you, Stark. I'll be leaving here before the whirlwind happens. We'll launch a joint attack once I get there. Good luck to you, King Garland. And the same to you! The time has finally come. We're facing Diaz. And I doubt he'll make a move without a plan up his sleeve. Probably not. But we plus, Cygnus is going to be pulling a whirlwind out of their hat for the finishing touch. True. This is a war after all. Let's trust in King Garland's plan and our own strength. So? Are you coming with us after all, Princess? Naturally, if it's Diaz we face. All the more reason I mustn't cower and hide. I'm coming too! Had a feeling you'd say that. All right. But if you ever feel like you're in serious danger, head back immediately. Understood. Leave it to me. Why are those guys here? Was it the meeting spot on the north side of the wasteland? So they always planned on attacking. Still, they're way ahead of the game. They know. About everything. But how? What was that? Oh no! Fire! Oh. No! A sickness! How could they? Stock! Right. We need to return to Cygnus. Cygnus! Look, Stock! It's King Garland! Huh? Ah! What'd you say, huh? Who are you gonna kill? Come on, scum! Say it again a little louder! <laughs> this armlet? <sighs> a strategist? Could he be talking about Hedge? <laughs> that snake! He sold Cygnus out! <laughs> <laughs> what did you do with him? <laughs> huh. 
The Diaz Knights must have fallen on hard times if they're looting corpses. Hmm. <laughs> it's true. This craftsmanship matches the armlet hedge war. <laughs> yeah, get lost! Don't even think of coming back here! Are you alright, King Garland? Damn it. I should have dealt with him properly. Guess I've gone soft. What do we do now? It'll be nearly impossible to get revenge for this. I don't like it, but I'll gather the survivors and lay low in the desert. I'm the ruler of my subjects, after all. They come before any vendetta with the enemy. Yeah, you can get back at them someday. Right now, you gotta make sure your people are safe. Yes, Stock. What will you do? I have something to take care of. All right. You seem to have some sort of plan in mind. Be careful. This must be difficult for you, Stock. I didn't think they would target Cygnus directly. They knew about the plan. That's why they ignored us and went for Cygnus. So then, what will you do now? First, let me ask something. This armlet belonged to Hetch. Is a Chronicle's holder involved with his betrayal and death? That's right. The presence of the Black Chronicle can still be felt here. Then it's simple. I'll prevent Hedge's betrayal before it happens. That should do nicely. The armlet will come in handy for that. Hedge's own possession, huh? Nothing will prove his death more concretely. Well then, Stock. Take care. Don't even think about it. Hmm. You're probably on your way to sell Garland out to Diaz. But what's waiting for you there isn't worth it. <laughs> it's proof that I can see into the future. And the death of people like you is especially clear. What was that? If it's not possible, then how do you explain the omelet? But if you don't value your life, why not keep heading towards Diaz and try your luck? <laughs> You've returned, Stock. I'm relieved that you succeeded in protecting her, but danger still lurks in her shadow. A new conflict that concerns... I'm sorry, but we can't. This tardiness is inexcusable. What is keeping them? The cursed Garland. First, he demands a new meeting ground at the 11th hour, and now he expects a guest to tarry in this desolate place. He styles himself a king, but he's not more than an ex-mercenary who's forgotten his manners. What's 
the matter, Stock? Oh, just making a quick survey for any enemies around. But never mind that. Ott, Erika, if you want to head back, now's your chance. No, I can't shirk my duty. I won't run either. Very well. You two have really got guts. I've been resolved to see this through. Ever since I joined the Resistance, this is a small but necessary step from a mere revolt to a true battle. You sure? Very. The Diaz Knights should be in the northern area of the Wasteland. Let's go! I'm sure you'll like what I have. Thank you. 